Meanwhile, President Trump departed Washington this morning as the nation turns the page on his presidency. Trump is the first president to skip his successor's inauguration since 1869. The last hours before he left office, the former president granted nearly 70 pardons. One was for a Philadelphia area radio host. And Action News reporter George Solis has those details tonight. I've had a look at it three or four times to make sure I still wasn't sleeping. Gary Hendler of Ardmore was not expecting to be among those pardoned by President Donald Trump. I went down the list and all of a sudden I saw my name and I absolutely couldn't believe it. In the wee hours of the morning, he learned his six-year quest for a pardon was finally granted. It was as if I just hit the lottery. It was nearly 40 years ago the now married father of two was convicted of conspiracy to distribute and dispense controlled substances. He was specifically busted for his brief involvement in opening up a Quaalude clinic in Philadelphia with some friends from college. Hendler says he was kicked out of the ill-fated and illegal venture. Then in 1982, Hendler says he decided to turn his life around and get clean. Two years later, when the clinic was busted by the feds, Handler's lack of involvement in sobriety led to only three years probation. I've really wanted this since I got sober in 1982. Handler applied for a pardon during the Obama administration, unsure which president would ultimately grant the request. He believes his nearly four decades of service in helping others recover from their addictions made for a good case. Handler now also hosts a radio show on the same topic and is also a realtor. Though not essential to his day to day, Handler says the presidential pardon does bring closure. It's a final chapter on my life of drug addiction and criminal activities. It just feels really good. Handler was also recently appointed by Governor Tom Wolf to serve as a member of the Pennsylvania Advisory on Drug and Alcohol Abuse. Reporting at home, George Solis for Action News at 10 on PHL 17.